What the hell? Am I supposed to like go around it or something? Or like... What? <laughs> <laughs> there is... Oh, it's a mini golf cart Escalade with like 10 people in it. What? <laughs> get like a photo in front of this place, but like, look, everyone's taking photos. Yep. What's the store's name? Paul Smith? Paul Smith. Oh. What is that color on that Corvette? Is it a Corvette? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! filling up the SVR a second time for today and this car has some issues where it doesn't really like lock in a place look see it keeps when you put the mechanism the latch down it just doesn't hold oh might have a, oh I think we were okay, okay so this has to be the exact angle because I've been doing it like through this way so it's like see like it just pops out like oh oh it still works Okay, there we go. All right, no we sub. Go. We need it. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, we're at 100%. Earlier, I filled up to three fourths because I couldn't fucking get the uh, pump to work properly. Now we've determined the correct angle to. Whoa, who's that over there? Whoa. Hey. Dang. Nothing. Alright guys, looks like Beverly Hills was a complete bust. I actually have to pick up the uh, M4 in a few hours at the body shop. Looks like the front bumper's all sorted out. Alright, just grabbing a few things out the car, but let's go back inside so I can tell you exactly what went down two years ago during car week that caused the front bumper damage. It involves a Pagani Huayra, my friend's BMW, and of course the Elite Mobile. So, story time guys. Alright guys, back in the apartment, we got the 118 Auto Art models. Uh, unfortunately, like a quarter of them are like broken. There's like broken side mirrors, some wings. Anyways, so I got a new bowl, coffee table, couch, the whole shebang. And yes, I bought this bowl off Amazon. Anyways, so back to the story. We're on the first American Reduno, and there were like what 13 Pagani wires. It was crazy, man. So we're at the back of the pack, and we got Lamborghini KS. Obviously, not the right spec, but this is still a Hot Wheels uh, wire. Got my friend behind him in a black BMW. Obviously not pictured, so I just chose like a fuckboy car. And this is the only accurate Hot Wheels in this entire uh, scenario here. It's a two lane highway on Highway 1. One lane going north, one lane going south. So we got the hotel on the right side here. So Christine, in his Wyra, passes and misses the right turn. We follow suit and we're like, oh crap, we needed to make that right. So we're like, okay, we'll just go a little forward and we'll U-turn. But Christine decides to stop from 45 miles an hour to zero and like, like that, click, boom, done. Cause his brakes are like fucking amazing. And you know, our brakes aren't. So luckily my friend was able to stop right on time before like, you know, it hitting him. He's like inches away. And as that happened, I, I reacted way too slowly, completely my fault. And I basically, collided into my friend's car. Luckily, it didn't push his car and hit Christine's wire right here because Christine was already making that U-turn and going straight back to the hotel. So, us two were just sitting in the middle of the row like, holy shit, that was so close. Totally my bad. I mean, I either I was not paying attention or I was just like being a shitty driver and like had some slow reaction. I don't know what happened, but I basically not uh, hit my friend's car and his exhausts were so hot that it basically melted like a part of my bumper. The exhaust tips like touched my front bumper and that's the damage you guys saw when I dropped the car off. So my car had the damage on the front, paint was pe uh, chipped a little bit. Uh, the spacers or the guard thingies, the rubber stuff underneath was kind of fucked up. So totally my fault. Two years ago it happened. Finally fixed the uh, damage. I don't know what took me so long. I was just being lazy, but. All right, guys, that's the end of the story. Put these hallways away. I'm the one to blame, 100% responsible. Let's go take a look at the big boys here. So we got a couple of my 118 auto art models. All pictured here. There's like four or five still in the boxes. 
Uh, this is just like a temporary display and I got a few other um, resin models that I need to check out, but there you have it. That is exactly how we almost crashed into Pagani Wire. Or you could say a Pagani Wire cost us to crash. So luckily it could have been a lot worse. Crisis averted and the M4 is all ready to go. And route back to the body shop. Uh, the guy there said that if I paid in cash that he would give me a, a slight discount. So that's exactly, oh look, BMW drivers. At least he signaled. And a nice low rider there too. But got the cash in hand, ready to roll. And uh, hopefully the M4 looks good, man. Pretty excited. All right, guys, it's been a couple days. The M4 is ready for pickup. Let's go have a look inside. No, they worked on the front. So, all right, just got the key back to the M4. That's okay. That's good. Look at that. It's all, it's all gone, look. Oh, wow. This is the same bumper? Yeah. And then this part had a, like a chip as well. It's, it's, it's gone. Dang, I remember right here, there is that yeah, big gash. That's where you bumped into your exhaust, right there. Or whatever it is. Very, very messed up. Oh, oh, not good. Well, looks good to me. Dude. All right, guys, gonna take the M4 to Costco today. Actually, I also need some rim repair here as well. There's some scuff marks on my tires. This one's not very nice here obviously i'm a pretty shitty driver but if you guys have any recommendations on who to use for a tire repair or rim repair let me know in the comments below but yeah front bumper looks good take this out for a spin and here we go man that cold start Old Star versus the SVR, there's absolutely no comparison. Yikes. There you go, shopping done. Brought the M4 out, that's how we roll. Of course, next to a V6 F-Type, as usual. Pretty impractical car to bring to Costco, but the M4 is more of a daily, honestly, the more I think about it. Definitely more of a daily, the SVR, not so much. All right, so we got the SVR and the M4 together and of course the Prius all the way up there but let's take a closer look at the uh, bumper here oh we got Adam vlog sign heading out up in front check out the bumper those two indentations from the exhaust that I uh, hit are gone same with the indentation there brand new paint uh oh do a pull do a pull oh Oh, no pool and uh, the scrape on the side here from when I hit a piece of debris on the road like two years ago is gone so man it's very smooth they did a really really good job it's really smooth all across the uh, front bumper here so brand new baby